Our first guest is best-selling author Kathy Freston. Hi, Kathy. Hi. Thanks for being on our show. Thanks Thank for having you. me. So, what is a vegan? What's because a vegan? It's very important that you explain this succinctly <laughs> and 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 compre uh, comprehensively. Comprehensively, yes, but easy to understand. Uh, because, easy uh, to understand. Yeah, there's a word for it though. Because my mother has been calling me a vegan oh. for the last Are year you a and vegan? a half. No. Oh. And I, so then I get the, well, your mother says you're a vegan. I'm like, well, Take I think I should it. know. Say yes. no, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to mislead, even for a good cause. Yeah. So clarify. Okay, so a vegetarian is someone who doesn't eat any animal flesh, so no steak or chicken or fish, and someone who's vegan doesn't eat anything from an animal at all. So I don't have butter or eggs or any kind of dairy or anything like that. Do you worry about your makeup and all that stuff? Do you make sure you know, that no I make sure that it's, that it's cruelty free. For instance, MAC, they never uh, use animal products when, and they're, it's uh, not tested on animals, mm -hmm. so I know I'm safe with MAC and I tend to use things like that or from they the health food store. They just test small children and other <laughs> Fine. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I test on actresses. No, no, but it's fine. So any, someone who's vegan just wants to uh, eat a diet that has no animal products mm -hmm. in it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so there's lots of health benefits to this? Yes. And, you know, aside from the health benefits, I mean, I got into it from an ethical standpoint because I saw what happened to animals, you know, as they became our food, and I was horrified. But then I thought, okay, so what do I do for protein? Which is the question, you know, I yeah. hear all the time. Because when I was in... silly because there's so much protein. There's I protein know, in everything. When I was in seventh grade, I had this, I didn't like the concept of eating animals. So mm -hmm. I decided I was going to be a vegetarian. But I ate things like Twinkies. Well, hello. Right. <laughs> you can be a junk and food vegan. I was. And you can be 300 pounds. Right. You know, and part of the great thing about being vegan is that you tend to be really slim because the weight just comes off very easily. You're not eating all that saturated fat. You're eating, you know, whole grains like brown rice and whole wheat and black bean burritos and avocados and seeds and nuts. So you have a great array of delicious foods, but you're not getting all that saturated fat. So, and you're getting tons of fiber and all these nutrients that are inherent in vegetarian foods. Mm -hmm. But so the weight just comes off. You really don't have to think about calories. You right. don't have to think about how much protein or how many carbs you're getting. You just eat a whole foods, nutrient-dense, plant-based diet, and it just comes off. So it's really easy. But, you know, I was vegetarian for a while before I became vegan. And before that, I ate chicken. And before that, I ate steak. I just kind of so gave did it up sort of gradually. I leaned into it one. I gave, I gave up eating one animal at a time. And that was really easy. Because for me, I grew up in the South eating chicken fried steak and, you know, mm -hmm. cheesy grits and, and uh, vanilla milkshakes and everything. So And pizzas. I know you said you let you live on pizza. I love pizza. Hello. Who doesn't yeah, love pizza? Yeah, I don't get to live on it. Yeah, well, I've got I great did. news for you because yeah. they have... There's something called Dea cheese, which is made from tapioca. So you can make your own pizza. You know, you get the crust in the in the grocery store. You put tomato sauce on it. And the Dea cheese really Dea tastes cheese. like cheese. I swear to you, it is delicious. And when you're veggie that sausage. Hungry, everything tastes like right? Because yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, exactly. And they have these great veggie sausages. So you chop it up and you put it on there. And your kids would love it. And I promise you, they wouldn't even know they're eating nothing from an animal. Do you? I find it odd though. I, I once tried uh, vegan sausage. Sausage, just it wasn't like really something I wanted, but people yeah. were like, it's great, you're gonna love it, right? And I didn't like it at all, and I've and I've never liked the tofurkey thing. I'm oh, like, I if don't you're like not tofurky. eating meat, yeah. Yeah. Don't eat me. Yeah. Why, why do you have, have to, to look like me? Right. Why do you have to pretend I, it's me? And I think that's like at the great end of the scale. If right. you're eating just whole foods, I think that's ideal. For me, I couldn't do it. I needed that bridge okay. to the food. You know, the food that I was familiar with, like turkey mm -hmm. and chicken and chili with meat and, and the sausage and you the bacon. You needed something to replace I that. I needed something that looked like the food that I grew up on, so right. I like those vegetarian alternatives, right. but I totally understand and I think it's really healthy if you're only eating whole foods. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. So what about dairy? Why is dairy, why are dairy and eggs such an issue? Yeah. Dairy, did you know that dairy is the single uh, most relevant cancer promoter wow. out there? I didn't. So, yeah, didn't. there's a, an incredible study called the China Study by uh, Dr. T. Colin Campbell, who's a professor emeritus at Cornell University, mm -hmm. and they have 25 years of research uh, about this, 
and it is the single most uh, relevant cancer promoter. Huh. So, I, and, and if you think about it, why do human beings drink or eat the milk from another species? It's like, would you see a, a, a goat drinking the milk from a zebra? Well, I just read that humans eat hot peppers and there's not another animal on the planet that will yeah. do so, so. Yeah, we're, we're crazy. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, out, we're just, out there. And yeah. chocolate milk is really yummy. Chocolate milk is great, but they have chocolate soy milk, chocolate rice milk, yeah. chocolate almond milk. Well, what about so Parmesan you, cheese? So there, <laughs> Parmesan cheese, then yeah, they have a veggie so alternative for that, no too. Go. Yeah, of course. So, so you're kind of covered. Are These you, days, it's easy. Are you worried at all about the... Um, I mean, I know it doesn't matter for big factory farming, but mm -hmm. for small farmers um, that are really trying to be as, as conscious as they can of the mm -hmm. earth and making sure that everything gets used mm -hmm. and they don't pollute, are, and, and are you worried about the loss of that kind of person? You know, I think that as time goes on, uh, it, 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 we have to adapt. For instance, I, I'm a writer. I used to write on a typewriter. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, typewriters went the way of antiquities. I mean, it just, it's, it's, it's so the people who made typewriters went out of business unless they adapted. And so, and I think that's the great thing about, uh, about humans yeah, and, yeah, and about it, Americans. But We're it's also pioneers. a depressing thing that you can't even get your typewriter fixed anymore. I know. <laughs> it's yeah. sad. We have to move on. What so. happens when mm -hmm. someone invites you over for dinner? Is there a whole, do you have to tell them oh. that you don't eat? Yeah, and that to me has turned into a really exciting adventure. I used to dread going over and offending anybody, but what's happened is people are really curious now about vegan. It's kind of a buzzword, the V word. Mm -hmm. and so, oh, the V word is something else. V word is something else. <laughs> yeah. We like both. But um, I think I'm thinking of the same V word. <laughs> well, yeah. What, you, what does Oprah call it? The Jai Jai or something? Or? <laughs> Yeah, I'm assuming that's what you yes, mean. Yes, that's what you mean. Yes, that's yeah. what I meant. Okay, okay. Um, so if I'm going over to someone's house, I'll call my friend and I'll say, I uh, just want you to let, I want to let you know I'm vegan, so don't worry about buying a piece of fish or steak for me, and I can just bring something. And she usually says, oh, don't bother, we'll have something for you. Mm -hmm. And if, if it's a barbecue, I would bring some, some uh, veggie patties with me or some soy hot dogs or something. So you still need the meat? The fake meat alternative. Well, you know, or do you think at that makes home, them feel comfortable? It, it makes people feel comfortable. Right. Like my husband, for instance, is not going to eat a bowl of brown rice and black beans and, and vegetables. He's just not going to do it. And I do really? it every once in a while, but no, he really wants the food that's hearty, is he a vegan? protein based. No, he's definitely not oh. vegan. God bless him. He's leaning in that direction, but he's you not know. there yet. He's he's down to fish and he'll eat eggs and some cheese, you know. But but before he was a big steak eater, and God love him. When we got married, I ate everything. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I ate steak and I wore fur. So, so you were the bait and switch. Now you're becoming a yeah. yeah. It wasn't really fair to him. It's not <laughs> you fair. Know, it's not fair. But but he's adapting and he's leaning into it. You know. So we're we're getting there. Very but I think with everybody, it's progress, not perfection. And as long as I'm, I'm not obnoxious about it, and I hope I'm not obnoxious about it, if mm -hmm. I went to your house for dinner, I, I would, you know, appreciate everything that you put on the table. It's not my business to tell anybody else what to eat, certainly. Right. And, um, you know, my husband, I don't tell him what to eat. He right. lets me be me. I let him be him. I do slip him the books, you know, and all the information. <laughs> try. So I try, you know, put it by the toilet so he has something to read that's healthy. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's not my business, and hopefully I'm nice about it. Being vegan is lifelong for me. The, mm -hmm. the cleanse is really about taking 21 days and taking the big five out of your diet, which is sugar, alcohol, caffeine, gluten, and all animal products. And that's just for 21 days to give your body a rest. Yeah, I'm not What's getting rid of caffeine. With gluten? Oh, I was going to say caffeine. <laughs> and, and caffeine. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, gluten, some people are sensitive to gluten, and it's very hard to digest. And so you wouldn't know necessarily that you're sensitive until you give it up and your stomach goes down. So if you have that nine-month pregnancy look mm -hmm. and you avoid gluten for 21 days, you'll, you'll have a flat stomach. If it does nothing, then you know you don't have a sensitivity. But the only way to know is to test it. Or and if you don't get the bloated th feeling. Exactly, then, you when know. you go back to it after the 21 mm -hmm. days. But the thing I most love about the 21-day cleanse is that people give up animal products for the 21 days. They lose weight. They feel clearer. Your skin clears up. 
you get so many good benefits in those 21 days that I find a lot of people actually do keep that for a lifetime. So it's sort of a way of, see, of making you discover new foods, new menu mm -hmm. items and things like that. And then sometimes, you know, people stick with it. And now our former president, Bill Clinton, He's Isn't now, this great? Right, so he's Bill Clinton now. is now a vegan, which is what? amazing because the man lived on hamburgers. I, you know, you could see him on TV. He was eating hamburgers well, how all the time. How many heart attacks did it take? Or? I, <laughs> I mean, one has to wonder, but he was on CNN mm -hmm. uh, just recently talking about being on a plant-based diet. And because there's so much peer-reviewed research that supports the prevention and reversal of disease, and for him specifically heart disease, by eating a plant-based diet. Plant-based is vegan, nothing from an animal. Right. And, you know, he speaks about it so intelligently. There's, there's a, a number of incredibly groundbreaking studies that say when you give up animal protein, your body not only is preventing disease, but you can actually halt it and reverse it. You can prevent uh, cancer by 40%, 40%, reducing your odds by 40%, mm -hmm. uh, heart disease by 50%, and diabetes, type 2 diabetes by 60%. These are conservative numbers right. by eating a plant-based diet. And that's not even including eggs and dairy. So if you were to give up eggs and dairy as well, oh, so the you numbers don't have get to, a lot okay, better. But you, don't, you can for eat those eggs numbers, and dairy for and those just give numbers. Up. Well, yeah. those numbers are good. Yeah, those numbers are pretty good, but they're even better when you give up everything. And again, I say lean into it. You don't have to do everything overnight, but just start, you know, looking for new foods, black bean burritos with guacamole, lentil soup, you know, mm -hmm. a cheesy pizza with the, the day of cheese, you know, there's all kinds of great alternatives and salads all the time. Right. And, and even some professional athletes are becoming yes. vegan too, right? Yes, exactly. Tony Gonzalez mm -hmm. uh, has been vegan. I think he might have added in a little bit what of fish. What does he play? He's a football player okay, for thanks. the Atlanta Falcons. And he doesn't look like a vegan. Oh, really? No, no okay. he's a big, beefy guy. There's an article um, out this month in Men's Journal called mm -hmm. The Rise of the Power of Vegan. And it talks about how athletes are turning to a vegan diet because their recovery time is so much faster now and they can run faster. Uh, there's a guy named Rich Roll and Brendan Brazier. They're uh, ultra marathoners that they're completely vegan. Mm -hmm. There is a guy named Matt Danzig who's the ultra championship fighter. You know, those guys who fight ultimate. really, yeah, ultimate fighting championship mm -hmm. winner. He's the, he's the guy and completely vegan because right. They just find that they're leaner, they're faster, and they recover more quickly. Well, so. That's excellent. What other celebrities are vegan? Ellen DeGeneres and oh. her wife, Portia de Rossi. They're also, wow. Yep, and uh, uh, Alicia Silverstone. Right, she's uh, been Toby a Toby Maguire. She, right. She's been, Alicia Silverstone's been a vegan, I think, for, for a long years. time. Yeah. yeah. Um, Erica Badu, the singer. Um, there's a lot of people who are going that way and, and that are leaning into it. And mm -hmm. Bill Clinton, I think, by him going vegan, it's just putting it on the map. Larry Page from Google, mm -hmm. one of the, the Twitter founders, um, is a vegan, and he tweets about it. Uh, Steve Wynn, uh, uh, front, this big guy in Las Vegas, course, yeah. is, is uh, also vegan. apparently vegan, <laughs> and he's now added all these vegan items to the menu. Oh, so nice. it's this thing that seems to be growing, right. and I think it's... Well, it's not a bad trend. That's cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a trend it's that a good seems trend. to be gaining momentum.